the last thing I want to be is one of those guys that never won a ring. <laughs> wow. Barry, LT, I meant one of those basketball players that never won a ring. No, Chris, I didn't mean you. I meant one of those legends who lost in the finals over and over. <laughs> Burgers are ready. Carl, come back, Carl. I was in New York City recently, and I met a guy who couldn't care less if Carl Malone never won a championship. He loves him anyway. Meet Steve, the pizza guy from the Bronx. <laughs> If I had to pick any power forward, and I'm a New Yorker, I am going with Karl Malone. Karl Malone is my favorite power forward of all time. Also, in my opinion, he's by far the best. He was the most, most physical. The guy played with such aggression, and he never let you get away with anything. If you piss Karl Malone off, he would get you in the long run. I love Western. I'm old school Western. Back in the day when you had a beef, you didn't go get guns or knives. You just, hey, Mark, I got a problem. We just go in the back with no cameras, no nothing, and let's just knuckle up and get it over with. He has the second most points of all time. I think there needs to be more NBA players. If there was still Carmelo's in the league, the league would be different. I freaking love Carmelo. The best, number one, always. Over Tim Duncan, over Dirk, over Kevin Garnett, I'm taking Carmelo. 100%. That's a passionate speech. That's right. That's how I feel. Your pizza's even better than your speech. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's good stuff. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Steve's Pizza in the Lower East Side at a place called Clinton Square Pizza is seriously the best. Crispy, cheesy, it's got this thick Sicilian pizza. It's his dad's recipe from 50 years ago. The guys know how to make pizza. He's also the biggest Carl Malone fan I think I've ever met, which was just crazy because he's from New York and loves the Knicks. So I posted Steve's testimonial about Carl Malone on my Twitter account. People went nuts, including Carl Malone's wife Kay. And then this happened. Tell me about your phone call. Uh, basically, I got the best phone call in my entire life. What happened was I was... Wait, Rob, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I can't, I can't. Come on, my I can't, even, I can't even look at you without laughing, bro. So basically, I'm over here. I just speak to you, Jody, who's not my favorite person. And I'm telling you how Carl is my favorite player. Jody recorded me, put it on the Twitter, you know. I go to the restroom. I come back out. Charlie, who works for me, tells me... Carl Malone's wife called the pizzeria and Carl's gonna call me in a little bit. And I'm looking at him like, yeah, okay. Next thing I know, like 10, 15 minutes later, I get a call. I pick up the phone, I say, hey, who's this? He goes, the guy speak to Steve, I hear the accent. I'm like, this is Carl Malone. He made my freaking day. I couldn't believe it. What do I do? I disregard all the customers. I run straight into the bathroom just so I could have like some privacy to talk to. I spoke to him for like 15 minutes. He was the nicest guy in the world. He was very humble. He, he asked me a lot of questions about myself. I just couldn't. I kept looking at the phone thinking, I'm on the phone with the mailman. Like my childhood freaking, my idol growing up, the mailman. I couldn't believe it. It was the best day of my life. I honestly, who would have ever thought, like when I woke up that morning, I was going to speak to Carl Malone, my favorite basketball player and the best basketball player ever that day on the phone. I, I can't believe that. And it's all because you made it possible. Uh, it's all good, man. You're the best. You really are. You're amazing. You guys, um, you made you, Carl Malone and your wife, okay, you guys, you made like a dream possible. That was awesome. Can't wait till they come to New York and get some Clinton uh, Square faint. pizza. You have to get me on a respirator. I'm gonna faint. <laughs> Carmelo walks through that door, I'm gonna faint. Uh, I'll awesome. tell you right now. Man, was, the dream team. It was crazy. We got a lot of Carmelo. This is this here. is the pizza dream That's team right. here, right here, Charlie and Ed Steve. <laughs> hey, you Utah Jazz, what's up? That's awesome, man. The best, All right, man. The best sports player there is, jo DJ Jazzy Jody, number <laughs> one. This guy knows what he's talking I about. I do know what. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Thank you. Hey, look at all this awesome pizza here. That's right, real. This, the square pizza, the pizza. Sicilian. It's Sicilian. Sicilian. Sicilian pie. Bronx Sicilian. That's right. It's got the garlic knots that are awesome. You got the best. Stuffed garlic knots. So I didn't try the stuffed garlic. Next time, stuffed garlic knots. Man, Steve is just the best. And hats off to UK and Carl Malone for making his day and finishing off what is just an awesome story. I'm glad to be part of it. Steve sent me home with some pizza. My kids devoured it. They loved it. Like Carl Malone, we can't wait to go to Clinton Square Pizza. The food is awesome. 
the company's even better. Trust me. 